Okay. Welcome back to Re Zero Anime Review Episode 35. This one I'm reviewing the 47th episode of the anime, which has got a very interesting title to it. It's called Happiness Reflected on the Water Surface. Yes. Unlike last week, I'm going to go bits and pieces here and there. This one, for like the first portion of this episode, is straightforward here. And then we cut straight to this other half of the episode where we fit, we start that particular journey there. This episode adapts from the first two chapters of Book 15. Now, the thing with Book 15 and me is the fact that I actually just started reading this book just today. I only got like two pages in. Now, did I stop because I got bored? No, I did not stop because I got bored. I stopped because I was on the bus way home. And I did not get a chance because I had just finished up reading Saga Tiny Evil book number 8. And I wanted to start a light novel, so I kind of started this one. Yep, so if you're probably curious though, like... Was there any change between manga and light novel? I don't know, because I only got a couple pages in, so... Excuse <clears throat> me. That might change by next week. Depends if I finish the book or not. This episode starts off, basically, where we left off last week. Where we have Garfield, where he's fake off against Elsa. And they have a brawl, basically, at one point has her... Has him doing something that Jason Voorhees did to Freddy Krueger in Freddy vs. Jason. Taking her by the head and ramming her through the wall. And then eventually them crashing to the floor. Before that, Garfield says, hey, you know what the boss wants, right? And she's like, yeah. So she goes gets Rem. Yep, she goes to get Rem. And she has like tied up like in like a carry like carry like a baby. I think with Rem, but she's pretty light. Yes. Her and her sister are both really light women. Because they're both skinny. So, in the case of, well, Subaru, for him, it's basically in Beatrice's library. Where we see, we see him briefly talking. That apparently she easily figures out, though, that, oh yeah, Rosal's responsible for this. And she f it also kind of figures out that Rosal's probably told Elsa about the her, her special ability of walking through closed doors. And basically, she wants to be that person. It's like, really? You want me to really be that person? They're like, I'm not that person. And then she just proceeds to kick him out, per se. And then just raft that we have Otto and Petra just happen to show up there. Yes, Otto and Petra. Which, of course, they, they run for a while, run into a man beast. Yeah, because apparently the jewel to use apparently it's not working on these particular man beasts. And then they get tossed outside, and of course was hit by Federica, who's got Rem. And then of course you have you have a big rhino plowing through to the mansion wall. You want to think a freaking rhino? Yes, a rhino with no horn. Now did some poacher did this as creature? No, this is technically a man beast, despite the fact, look at this creature, it's a freaking rhino. Yes, even I can tell this is a rhino. And there's Multi just sitting on top of it. And she's like, oh hi Petra, child, you wanna play? And he's like, yeah, we'll play later. <laughs> yeah, and apparently her cutesy stuff that she does, apparently doesn't work with her, despite the fact she really wants to kill her best friend. So, Federica decides basically to stay behind because, oh yeah, I'm basically, that last time I was looking forward to dying. This time I'm going to live. So she just transforms her hands, doesn't transform her whole body per se. And of course they run away. And in the case of Garfield, like his battle with Elsa is really good. I thoroughly enjoy it. But that's only like the first 10 minutes of the episode. Yeah. Excuse me, then we cut straight back to Sanctuary. Where we kind of have a semi-continuation of some stuff, basically, maybe some of this was cut from last week. We have Roz was talking to Amelia, like, telling her that his, you're not wrong, you're wrong about my teacher. And then she walks in, and then we see sort of like an ultimate future. Yes, let's say ultimate present. 
where her mother and Goosh are in fact still alive and she's like very pretty and of course apparently she does not question the fact that hey why are you wearing the same same hairpin I do I'm sure anybody who watched it was like, wait, why in the world is she, like, wearing the same, why is two wearing the same hairpin and the fact that they don't say anything about it? She does say, ma'am, like, she's like, mother, you look great. You look very pretty. <laughs> and she's embarrassed by it. And then, of course, Goo shows up, like, right after that. And this is quite hilarious, like. He's like, oh, it's like, even he comments how beautiful she is. <laughs> she was even smack his arm. Not slap him, smack his arm. And she's, he's like, did I do something to offend her? She's like, and Lamia's like, oh no, she just embarrassed. <laughs> and then she comes across one of her aunts. <laughs> I thought this was so hilarious. And, of course, they're basically on the way to have a picnic. They chat for a while. They're like, oh, Good job. Why don't you stay here? Yeah, this guy was a bishop. Yes, a bishop. And then, of course, she politely excuses herself to clean some of her eye. Like, don't be long. And like, yeah, I'll be fine. Go back to the watch him. Get low. And then, Akina. I think it's to pronounce the guy. So he, yeah, he's the blonde elf who lives in the village who is, who's a friend of Emilia's mother. Now, he, the way he talks, it's almost like Echidna is basically talking through him. Where, like, it mentions, oh yeah, she's she's long dead. It mentions, oh yeah, this unknown oh, happened to the bishop. Uh, Subaru killed him by running him over in a freaking cart. Apparently she does not know, like, in the case of Echidna, I believe Subaru told her that he killed, he killed him. Yeah. Though, it's kind of unknown exactly how she feels about the fact that that Subaru killed somebody she knew when she was younger. Like, when she was a little kid. I don't really know exactly, like, how in the world that affects her relationship at all. But it's never brought up here. Nope, never brought up here. Subaru and her do not discuss, basically, Portuguese's death at all. Which... I think that's quite dumb. I don't know if this is mentioned in the light novels, not of her reaction. The finding out that so much she figures, oh, I knew who he was younger, and like, oh, Subaru killed him. Yeah, it's almost like they just have no interaction, they have no mention conversation about this. And then acknowledge the fact that, yeah, this, she, she actually likes her current reality right now. So she basically, and then Kennedy see her briefly, and she says, I'm disgusted with you. I hate you. Like, really? Like, it's completely unknown exactly why she hates Amelia. It, I highly doubt it's due to the fact she looks like a witch envy. That's not that at all. I highly doubt it. Because, in the case of her parents, like the witch of, of envy, Setna, it's never brought up exactly that, think that that's the reason why she hates her. It's not due to her parents. I think because of her attitude. That she doesn't like. Or the fact that she does something to her that she doesn't like. I'm not really sure what it is. And she gets out of there. She had the past second trial. No problem. Yeah, she walks up perfectly fine. Not emotionally traumatized like she was before. And we see people from the village. Like, of course, she did tell us about basically. They think, I think they do know. But they know about the barrier coming down. We see the people of the sanctuary. Who are very supportive of bringing down the barrier. And of course, Rhea was like, and, she, and of course, they, when she heard it was Ellen, was like, huh, you're no other. Interesting. And they all laugh it off, and she goes in for a final trial. And then the episode ends, they're going into the next trial. We do see briefly a brief flash of Ros Roswell versus Ram and Puck, which, not in this episode, but it's kind of good to remind of the fact that it's there. Yep. But I at least gotta say, this is a great episode. Looking forward to next week. And, well, hopefully my next week I actually finish this light novel. Who knows? I'm hoping that happens. Yep. So yeah, that's it for second view. I might have time to do my next review. Uh, maybe. It depends. Yep. Which will be on the newest episode of The Seven Deadly Sins. Okay? This next video. Bye.